Hello learners, this is Excel with Habiba. If you like the videos, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. If you do so, it will be a boost for me to bring more and more inspirational stories to you all. Because inspirational stories make things, Im impossible things possible. So let's begin today's inspirational story that is the fisherman and the businessman. Once upon a time, there was a businessman who was sitting on the beach in a small village. As he sat, taking a brief break from the stress of his daily schedule, he saw a fisherman rowing a small boat back into the harbor. In the boat were a few large fish. Impressed, the businessman asked the fisherman, How long does it take you to catch so many fish? To which he replied, Oh, not so long. The businessman was confused. Why don't you fish for longer to catch even more? More? This is enough to feed my entire family and even offer some to my neighbors, the fisherman said. So what do you do for the rest of your day? inquired the businessman. The fisherman replied, Well, I have usually have caught my fish by late morning, at which point I go home to my wife and play with my kids. In the afternoon, I take a nap and read. In the evening, I go to the village to have a chat with my friends, play guitar, sing and dance into the night. Putting his entrepreneurial hat on, the businessman offered a suggestion. I have a PhD in business. I can help you become much more successful. From now on, you should spend longer at sea and catch as many fish as possible. When you have saved enough money, buy a bigger boat to catch even more fish. From there, you will soon be able to buy more boats, set up your own company, build a production plant to can the, can the fish and control distribution and move to the city to control your other branches. To this, the fisherman asks, and after that, the businessman laughs. After that, you will be able to live like a king, take your company public, float your shares, and be rich. And after that, asked the fisherman once more. After that, you can retire, move to a house by the sea, wake up early in the morning to go fishing, then return home to play with your kids and wife, take a nap in the afternoon and join your friends in the village to chat, play guitar and dance into the night. Puzzled, the fisherman replies, but is it not that what I am doing already? So, friends, what is the moral of the story here? Let's see. Be content with what you have. Do you really need to keep pushing for money more and more? Stress is often a choice. There's joy and peace in simplicity. So, let's live a simple life with so much of satisfaction. I hope you like the story. I'll be back with another story. Until then, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below if you like. Thanks for your attention and time. Happy learning.